welcome back to another YouTube video and today I'm going to show you how to play a minor scale. So there are three different types of minor scales. We have natural minor, harmonic minor and melodic minor. Different people have different ways to learn to play minor scales. Some people prefer to learn them by memorizing formulas. But as you know, there's three types of minor scales and that's kind of a lot for me to memorize them all. I personally prefer to learn them by three semitones or three half step method that I'm going to show you later in this video. Of course, it's all about our own preference, looking the best way to learn because in the end, we are all about having the same goal which is to be able to play a minor scale without struggling. So let's begin! For me, major and minor are like family but with different characteristics. So a major scale sounds happy and bright while a minor scale tends to sound sad. Now let's talk about how close are major and minor key relatively. Small M stands for minor and big M stands for major. So both of them are three half steps in relative. An A minor scale consists of eight notes starting from A. But we do not know if it consists of any flat or sharp. So now we are going to use this three half steps method to find the relative major for the A minor scale. So we are now going to look for a major key from a minor key, which means we have to move three half steps to the right and we get a C major. So C major is a relative major of A minor. From C major, we know there are no sharps or flats in this key. harmonic minor, we raise the 7th note a semitone higher during both ascending and descending. For melodic minor, we raise the 6th and 7th note a semitone higher during ascending, and we lower the 6th and 7th notes a semitone lower during descending. Let's begin with A harmonic minor scales. An A minor scale consists of 8 notes starting from A. But we do not know if it consists of any flat or sharp. So now we are going to use this three half steps method to find the relative major for the A minor scale. So we are now going to look for a major key from a minor key, which means we have to move three half steps to the right and we get a C major. So C major is a relative major of A minor. From C major, we know there are no sharps or flats in this key. However, we need to raise the 7th note a semitone higher for a harmonic minor scale. Looking at the scale here, the 7th note in an A minor scale is the note G. Therefore, the G note has to raise to G sharp. So now we know an A minor harmonic scale has one G sharp. Let's try to play it on the piano. different than harmonic minor. For melodic minor, we raise the 6th and 7th notes of the scales a semitone higher when we play upwards. So the 6th note here is a F note and we raise a semitone higher to F sharp. And we do the same thing for the 7th note here which is the G note and we go up to G sharp. After playing ascending, we shall move backwards which is descending. So this time, we lower down the 6th and 7th notes a semitone lower. We lower down these two notes which are being raised before during ascending. So from F sharp, we lower down a semitone back to F and from G sharp, we lower down back to G. Here you go, an A melodic minor scales. So 
that's all about it. If you did enjoy this video, please hit like. And if this is your first time on my channel, please subscribe. I make tutorial video based on basic music theory and piano playing. If you are into any of that, go ahead and check out my other videos. My name is Iro. See you next time.